Hi everyone and welcome back to the dell. Today I'm going to be making a mixed berry mead but first I want to talk a little bit about the company that I'm using with, for the honey. They're called Hilltop Honey. Hilltop Honey is a Welsh company and they also offer an adopt a bee package. Included in this package is a little pot of honey, a sticker set, bee badge that you can pin to an item of clothing. For me, I pinned it to my work apron. A little book of bees, a little book of honey, and a certificate of adoption. At the time of uploading this video, their website was going through changes. Although the adopter bee isn't currently on their website, I have spoke to a member of staff who told me that it will be available. Twenty-five percent of all profits made goes to the honeypot charity. So anyway, let's get on to the recipe today. I'm going to be using seven point zero five kilograms of mixed fruit and six point eight kilograms of honey. I'm also going to be using water and the collected fruit juice that comes from the frozen fruit. For the yeast, I'm going to be using Lalvin RC two one two. I'll be talking about that a little bit more later on. Let's get sticky. So as you can see I am cutting open my defrosted bags of fruit. Ideally you want them to be frozen and then defrosted because this helps break down the cellular walls so it makes it easier to ferment in the long run. While I'm doing this I'm collecting all the juices from the bags and I'll then transfer them into the fermenter later on. Once all the juice has been collected and put aside, let's start adding the honey. Once you've added your honey to the fermenter, what you want to do then is add some water. What I'm doing here is I'm adding 5 litres of additional water just to, so I can stir it all in and mix it all up together.
once it's all mixed up and, happy, and you're happy just add some more water I'm also adding water to my little honey buckets which I can shake up uh, just to create a little bit more of oxidization and pour into my fermenter so I'm not wasting any of my honey At this point I'm adding the fruit juices that I had collected, roughly about a litre's worth, into the fermenter. I'm doing this for flavour and to build up sugar content. Okay, so this is the yeast that I am using today. It is Lalvin RC212. It's primarily a red wine yeast. Um, good for keeping the colour and all the fruity sort of flavours. Um, I'm using it mainly for that reason. The alcohol tolerance is up to 16%. I'm rehydrating the yeast in the standard way of using 200ml of water and just pouring the packet into the water, stirring it frequently. Upon review of this video I probably should have started the rehydrating the yeast a bit sooner and I probably would have used two packets instead of just the one or at least one and a half packets. In addition to the yeast, I will be using 6.25 grams of GoFirm, uh, keeping with the one part yeast to 1.25 of GoFirm. And back to adding more water to the must. At this point I am adding my bag of fruit, which in a moment you'll see I did not account for the volume distribution. <laughs> I am now pitching my yeast along with my GoFirm.
So my hydrometer reading for this brew was 1.080, which is a little lower than I wanted it to be, but it should work out to be roughly around 11% ABV. My ABV may alter after I condition it and add more fruit to it to give it a little bit more flavour later on. Right now I am using pectic enzyme which helps break down the fruit, uh, prevents pectin forming a haze, um, keeping it nice and clear and also helps the filtering process. I am using 6.5 grams. So that's it for this video on making a mixed berry mead. I will be making a part two for the secondary fermentation and conditioning. Thank you for watching. Just a side note guys, I did empty some of the contents into these mini buckets that I turned into little fermenters uh, just to help the headspace so that it doesn't overfill. See you later guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and all my socials are just down below.